Chris, you're here at Ibrox today to present a cheque to ABF, the Soldiers Charity. I know it's something that's pretty close to your heart. You have a, a brother who's serving in the in the army. It's brilliant, that, you know, that the, the Rangers Charity Foundation can you know donate such amount of money to to a great cause, and um, you know I'm I'm very happy to present it today because obviously it's very close to my own heart. Any charity like this, uh, especially the ABF, um, help soldiers no end. Um, we. Most of the money goes, and the job I do, I see a lot of the money going to uh, uh, wounded, sick and, and injured soldiers. Uh, and it's money, it's, it's very much needed in this, this uh, environment uh, nowadays. Uh, also, it gives the, the families that peace of mind that, you know, there's no um, problem with the financial side of things uh, when, when needed. You know, our original target was £25,000 and it's just uh, magic to have uh, reached £35,000 and it really is because our fundraising activities this year have exceeded all our expectations and the fans have been uh, truly behind the work of the foundation throughout the year, whether it's taking up a fundraising challenge of their own or participating in one of the events that we organised ourselves, such as the Walk with Heroes, which we held here in the stadium uh, a couple of months ago, and that was a tremendous success. You know, it's brilliant that the, the fans are putting you know, their own time and effort into into these charities and I'm sure that you know the money that they're raising will go to a um, very good cause for you know the people that have served our country very well. The support that we got for other TA units uh, in Glasgow was absolutely phenomenal. Um, as soon as they heard that you know it was for uh, this charity um, they all jumped on board um, to the point where actually had too many people uh, show up on the day again which was fantastic. Um, I think the public it, it showed up on the day as well, actually appreciated the, the amount of soldiers that was here uh, to support the charity uh, and it was good to, for them to see the soldiers actually supporting their own charity. The foundation and indeed the club have always been supportive of the forces and forces related charities and um, I'm sure that will continue. I mean we receive a huge number of requests from a wide range of charities and over the years we do try and spread uh, the benefit of the generosity of fans to different charities and they respond to that and there's no doubt that they have done that this season. Um, obviously I had you know my own worries and stuff and my brother went away and you know I'm, I'm very thankful that he's you know he's came back without any of the in these injuries but it's great that you know that Rangers can give such amount of money to such a great cause and you know for me presenting it today it's fantastic because you know it means a lot to me and you know I'm, I'm glad that you know I can be here to do it. I didn't know that Rangers had done as much as they have done in the past, um, but it was good to see the supporters as well as the players um, supporting this, this charity and, and also supporting the, the soldiers as well. So yeah, de definitely the connection between Rangers and, and the Army is fantastic. Chris, unusually when I texted him at the end of the season to thank him for, for what he'd done for us this season, he texted back saying thank you to the Foundation. and myself because he really enjoys on a personal level to be involved in the work that we do so um, a lot of the players are like that and uh, hopefully the new guys will be the same when they start training next week.